Hi guys, welcome back to Nebula Fox Toy Reviews. And today we're going to be looking at more anime figures. But not the the normal anime figures that I review. So it's not a Figma and it's not uh, a Figma Arts Mini. Today we are going to be looking at some anime figures from my childhood that I have recently managed to find at a convention. And uh, today we are going to be taking a look at some Dinosaur King figures. These are still in their boxes. I managed to find these at Huddersfield Comic Con. Um, so when I did, I was just like, yes. I initially only found Rex. Um, but the guy said he had the full set hiding under the table. He just had one of the figures out on the table so he could, you know, put other things there as well. Because they're quite chunky boxes. So yeah, so I have the full set. So I've got Max and Chomp. Uh, we've got Rex, uh, Rex with Ace, and we have Zoe with Paris. Um, th these were not cheap. I mean, I'm pretty sure they would have been cheap when they were originally released. But other con, these were not cheap. These were like twenty pound each. <laughs> so, ugh. but these are from two thousand and nine, and obviously in their boxes, they're pretty much impossible to find now, unless you go on eBay. But yeah, eBay probably want more for them. But you know, I was just happy to find the full set, so I bought them. We are going to be unboxing them, obviously, for this review. So, eh, I'm not bothered. The boxes are pretty beat up anyway. Well, you know, the card backs are pretty beat up, especially at the top. So, um, yeah, let's head on over to the review table and uh, get a closer look at these cool looking figures. Apart from the faces. The faces do not look the best, but oh well. Uh, so yeah, let's head on over the, to the table, shall we? All right, so here are the figures. As usual, we'll take a quick look at the box first. Uh, no, we'll, we'll do Max, because we're going to open Max first. So we've got the Dinosaur King logo up at the top corner. This is some nostalgia right here. We have a nice little picture of... Re uh, Max and Chomp from the anime and we've got Max and Chomp down here along with the little dinosaur claw and a very nice look at the figure because it's just all in a plastic bubble on the back we have Dinosaur King we have Blurb in French and German I think so yes yeah, so we have a bit of a Blurb in French and German these are not the UK release of these figures even the legal mumbo jumbo is not in English, it's just French and German. But you know what? Like I said, I'm opening them, so I'm not bothered. Uh so we have all of the figures in the line. We have a nice image of all three of them together with their dino holders. I do have a dino holder somewhere. Don't know where, but it's around somewhere. I never actually put batteries in it, so I don't know what it does. But yeah, it's Max's one. They never actually made Re uh, Zoe's or Rex's dino holder. It was just Max's. So it's got the lightning symbol on it. So, yeah. Uh, the back is exactly the same for all three figures. The only thing that's different is the extra bits. So we've got Rex and Ace there and obviously there. And then we've got Zoe and Paris there and there. So yeah, so that and that bit is the only bit that's different on each figure. So I'm going to put uh, Rex and Zoe off to the side for now. And yeah. So these are four ages. Four plus. I am part of the plus. So let's open them. Actually, let's cut this tail first. Because as much... Yeah, I'm obviously keeping... Uh, been in the boxes but I also don't want to make too much mess when opening the figure. Oh, there's no tape down at the bottom. So yes, let's break these guys out of their little airtight seal they, they have been in since 2009. There we go. Obviously, I will be recycling the packaging. 
So I just thought that's another. Ooh, caution. Before giving product to a child, please cut all please cut and remove all plastic attachments. I'm gonna do that anyway. Here we have little chomp. And here we have Max who is in via cable ties. I am going to quickly undo all of these cable ties so I shall be back in a second. Alright, so Max and Chomp are out of the box. So we'll have a quick look at Max first. And my god, has he seen some shit. I'm just going to let him stare into your soul for a few seconds. <laughs> While I talk about the rest of the figure. The rest of the figure looks really nice, but... <laughs> 2009 did not know how to make anime figures. <laughs> uh, so anyway, yeah, um, like his hair is done quite nicely, and we've obviously got we've got his cap that has the Triceratops horns on, which can light up in the anime. They're like they're like head torches. We've got his little hoodie that he wears. Well, his fleece with a hoodie underneath. He must be boiling in this outfit. And then we have got his gloves. Which are done nicely. And obviously they are fingerless gloves. Oh my god, the joints of paint stuck. <laughs> then we have his pants, which for some reason the crotch piece is painted a slightly darker shade than his uh trousers. <laughs> the rest of his trousers. Looks <laughs> like his butt is a slightly different colour. And then we have his shoes, which have peg holes if you use to choose to use a base. And then this bit under here is in English. So we've got Sega, Sunrise, uh, Playmates Toys, Made in China. I'm not entirely sure if Playmates Toys still exist, but oh uh, well. So yeah, uh, apart from the face, he does look all right. He's got his little, um, as the Americans would call it, a fanny pack, as we Brits call it, a bum bag around his waist. <laughs> you know, it's it's meant to be like down here. Which is why it gets the term fanny pack in America. Uh, for articulation, the head is on a swivel. There's no ball joints on this figure. It's just swivels. Uh, his arms can move all the way out, so he can T-pose. And his arms can do a full 360. Uh, he's got a single hinge knee, which gives just under 90 degrees of bend. And obviously, um, swivel that can swivel as well. His, there is nothing at his hands, so his hands are stuck as they are. He does have a very loose uh, waist swivel. I am going to unstick the legs. There we go. Can he spread? Does he have a spread? No, he doesn't have a spread. So the legs can go forward that far, and they can't go backwards at all. So it's either a kick or standing, that's it. At the knee, he does have a swivel, so his feet can go all the way around, and that is that. If you want him to stand normally, so like both of his feet are facing forward, one foot is at a funny angle, because I think he is just meant to stand like that with his feet sort of at a right angle to each other. So that is Max. Let's take a quick look at Chomp. The dinosaur figures, from what I've seen, look a lot better than the human figures. So this is Chomp, the little Triceratops. So he is a very nice little figure. Just ignore the massive seam that's <laughs> going down in. Uh, he was also very paint stuck and I, ugh, it, it gave me many heart attacks every time I wanted to move, like unstick a leg. But yeah, so his paint is very nice. It's very clean. It's just yellow and orange triceratops with some white underbelly and the horns. Uh, his head can rotate so he can do a full 360 with his head. And his legs can pretty much just go forward and backwards. Because so obviously the main point of these figures is the human character. So yeah. So that is Max and Chump finally freed from their packaging. So let's move on to the next lot of figure, the next figure, which is Rex and Ace, who from the face at least 
Rex looks the best. So once again, I shall pause the video and come back when I have them both out. Okay, and we're back. And here is uh, here are Rex and Ace. So let's get a closer look at these guys. Rex is definitely the better, the one that's been. <laughs> okay, the camera has just jumped into focus, and um, hmm, hmm. 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 Uh, yeah, despite that, he is still the the face that's been done the best out of the three figures. <laughs> My God, that that is that is more nightmare fuel. Are you, are you gonna do that with Rex, Max as well? Yep, there we go. <laughs> I didn't realize I could get them that close to the camera and it'd still focus. Uh, but yeah, this is Rex. Uh, his hair is done nice as well, but I prefer um, Max's hair. He is very smooth and shiny. Very smooth. <laughs> the face. Oh my god, the faces on these are awful. I mean, from a distance, they look... From a distance... From a distance... There we go. Uh, Rex's face does look the best. I mean, even up close, Rex's face still looks the best. But, yeah. His arm was uh, orientated wrong in the packaging, so I have unbroken his arm. And I have also unbroken his legs. So, yeah. He has his uh, blue fleece on, his, his um, you know, his known blue fleece. Iconic. There we go. He also has the dinosaur claw necklace on that his dad gave him. Or was it his mum? Oh, his parents. Um, that his parents gave him when they dropped him off to basically live with Max. With the tailors. And then we've got the zip. Yeah, so that's the so the zip for his jacket. Um, his legs once again. His crotch has been done a slightly darker shade than his pants. So I don't get why. But oh well, they're still done really nicely. And then he's got his little shoes, his little boots. Uh, he is also. His hands have also been done quite nicely. We've got one fist and one slightly open palm. Articulation is exactly the same. So head is on a swivel. He can T-pose. Because of his arms, he doesn't have as much bend as Rex. But for some reason, his arms can break and slightly overflex backwards. Uh, he does have a waist swivel, a tighter waist swivel than what Max had. Let me just move his arms out of the way. His legs can go all the way forward. And the, his legs can also go ever so slightly backwards. Because you do actually need to have him leaning backwards to be able to stand up, which is a shame. And obviously he has the, the knee, the knee swivel, but no knee bend. So yeah, if you have the top and bottom half of his legs lined up perfectly then that is the position that his feet are in so if you have him normal so this that's him slightly leaning forward backwards even if you have him sort of normal he can't stand he, he leans forward so you need it's like front heavy so you need to have his legs backwards a little bit just so he can stand. But anyway, here is Ace, his little Carnotaurus buddy. And the painting on this, as with Chomp, is really nice and clean. He is adorable. And his head can do a full 360. Like Chomp, he was very paint stuck, especially his head. His arms and legs weren't that bad, but his head was very paint stuck. You can move his arms a full 360. Well, you would be able to if his legs didn't get in the way. But his arms can move and his legs can move. His legs cannot do a full 360 because they get stuck. But, you know, he can do this. So he can sit. He can sit down like a good boy. But, yeah. So we have little Ace the Carnotaurus. Wind element dinosaur. And obviously Chomp is lightning or thunder or whatever 
So we'll put Rex and Ace off to the side and we shall get the final pair, Zoe and Paris. Zoe by far has the worst face. So let me once again pause it, get her out and we'll have a closer look at her. Okay, here is here are Zoe and Paris. So as before, we'll take a quick look at Zoe and uh mm, she is definitely going to stare into your soul. In fact, she can stare into two different people's souls because her eyes are staring off in different directions. So yeah. There we go. Now she's staring into your soul with that eye. And now she's staring into your soul with that eye. But yeah. She has definitely got the worst face. Uh, she also has the least articulation. But we'll, you know, show you that afterwards. So her hair is once again done really nicely. The, the bobbles that she uses are painted okay. The goggles. You know, they, they could have lined it up a bit better. You know, the, the paint just needs moving this way a little bit. But, you know, the eye placement, uh, uh, apart from being creepy, the eye placement is actually perfect for where the eyes are moulded. And we've got her little her little T-shirt that she wears that's painted really nicely. And the little jacket that she wears over it, which is once again painted really nicely. And the little dinosaur tooth necklace that she wears. And the little green, green bandana? Yeah, a green little, little green necktie. As she has her little green sweatbands on both wrists as well. And she has the utility belt. She has the belt of goodies. Which is cool. Once again, that is moulded quite nicely and painted quite nicely as well. As well as her little shorts. Her uh, stockings are done... Well, can't really say anything about the stockings. It's just grey. Little teeny tiny paint scuff there but that's you know it's at the back of the figure you're not really going to be displaying it look at the looking at the back and of course we've got a little green shoes a little green trainers which are once again painted really nicely for articulation her head can obviously do a full 360 but her her, her bangs do catch on her shoulders she can t-pose like the boys can and her arms can also do a full 360, like the boys. Her elbow has the best range, and she has a 90 degree bend. And she has a little bit of hyper hyperflex uh, going backwards. Also, in the camera, that looks like her upper arm and her lower arm are, pain are done in different colours. I think they are. Because I think this bit is paint, and this bit is the moulded plastic, and then obviously the green bit is paint. But, oh my god, it looks awful in the camera. It doesn't actually look that bad in person. You can tell there's a difference. But it's not like as obvious as in the camera. Uh, she does have a waist swivel that actually cuts across her stomach rather than at the top of the belt. Um, her legs can go... Oh my god. Her legs can only go that far forward. And they can't go back at all. And she doesn't have any sort of swivel on her legs. So she is just sticky leg, stick legs. So yeah, um, looks wise, I mean, paint wise, I think she's got the most on her because of her outfit. But I mean, just design wise, especially the face and just the lack of, really the lack of articulation in the legs compared to what the boys get. It, she's the worst. She's the worst figure to play with, but probably looks wise for the outfit is probably the nicest one to look at. But let's take a quick look at Paris. So this is the the grass element Parasaurolophus friend that she has. Uh, once again, painted really nicely, as with all the other dinosaurs. And I mean, for me, even though with the sets the focus is more on the human figure, the dinosaur figures are definitely the highlight because these little figures are adorable, just like the dinosaurs are in the anime. So... Her head can do a full 360 and her legs, her front legs can go, yeah, you can move all of her legs. But she can, you can't really move the legs far on her or chomp. Yeah, paint is done really nice. I really like the blue um, like ridge sail going down her back. 
And yeah, let's bring them all in. Zoe can actually stand up quite nicely, which is good. So we've got Zoe in Paris, Rex and Ace, and Max and Chomp. So that is the full set of the human figures. They made the D team. Oh, her arm needs to go down a little bit. So yeah, they made the D team, but I wish they made the Alpha Gang as well. You know, Ursula, Xander, and Ed, with Terry, Spiny, and Tank little dinosaur figures. I would have also liked a Doctor Z and um, a Seth figure. Oh, I would have loved a Seth figure. He was my favorite character. Um, but you know, we only got the D team. They only really made figures of the good guys. You could get, um, with the trading card game, they did make little figures of the dinosaurs on bases um, to use with the card game. So you could get Terry, Tank, and Spiny in those figures. Um, but overall, they were about the same size as that, but they were like their fully grown forms for the trading card game. But you, And you could also get little mini figures of Max Rex in it and Zoe, but you couldn't get mini figures of any of the Alpha Gang, which is a shame. I would have also liked to have gotten a figure of uh, Spike Tail, so Max's dad, just because he's a goofy dad and I love him. He would be an amazing dad. Um, but yeah, that is all I can really say about these figures. This is a bit of a longer video because I've looked at three figures. I was debating on making each of these figures their own video, but overall their videos would not be that long. And I have a backlog of figures to go through anyway that I couldn't really let the pile get any bigger through me doing these as individual videos. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. And I shall see you all in the next video. Whatever that'll be. Bye!